Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be testing out Adam's wheel cleaner. I just bought a small bottle when I was at the detail store and just thought I wanted to try this out uh, while I still have my Griot's uh, heavy brake, uh, heavy, heavy duty brake cleaner and maybe kind of compare them side to side. But um, I've used this on one wheel before and I, I am, I am going to say I do like this. Um, so, and, and to factor in prices, a gallon for this is $60, while Griot's is $50 for the heavy duty uh, wheel cleaner. What I noticed about this um, from, from the Griot's one is um, it looked like it was pulling off a lot more iron because I was seeing a lot more of that purple color that you would see after it breaks down that, that, the brake dust. So, I mean, I don't know if it's better. I mean, cleaning cleaning still feels the same, but I mean, I don't know if it's just pulling off more brake dust because I'm seeing a lot more purple action, so I don't know if this has a higher concentration of iron remover in it. Um, so uh, I, I am liking this. So what I wanted to show was just seeing how much, uh, seeing how much brake dust gets pulled off. Here I have my pressure washer set up, ready to go. So we're just going to soak this down. Let's get the caliper. One thing I also notice is that this is um, the viscosity is thinner, which I I kind of like. That's why I like iron removers. It's just because you can just cover whatever you're trying to do, whether it's a panel or wheel, faster. The Griot's is quite thick which also has benefits because then I feel like it clings onto, you know, the surface better. So, I mean, there's, there's ups and downs, but this definitely gets the job done. So, I mean, that's about it. We'll let this sit. Let's see if I missed any other spots. Um... Actually, I, sh I should be testing on the other side so you can see all the purple being pulled off because I'm kind of on an incline here, so all the all the liquids are going to be going that way. Let me uh, let me switch over to that side. So the wheels are pretty dirty. I don't know if they look like it or not. This is a post track wash. This is the first wash I, uh, I'm doing since I tracked the car about two two weeks ago. Um, as you can see, there's all these uh, see all the tire marks all along the lines here, but and the nice melty tires. Look at that. So there's definitely brake dust covering the wheel. I'm gonna let this dwell for a few minutes and then we'll come back. Okay, so this has been on for a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna spray it off. And if you're new to the channel, the way that I like to test uh, wheel cleaners is that I do like to spray them on the wheels, let them sit for however long the instructions say, and then I'll spray them off because I want to see how much dirt it actually cleans up to see how much effort you have to put in, in put into it after. Um, just, so it, it's basically just testing the product itself before you go into agitation and things like that. So that, that's the way I like to do it, just to see how well the cleaner is actually doing something. Or else you could probably just use like APC and clean your wheels or something like that. <clears throat> coming out
the tire. All right, anyways, back to this. So anyways, uh, so the lubrication's there for sure for um, if you're gonna agitate it with it on. Like that'll pull anything more. Uh, what I currently have in the bucket actually is a, uh, it's CarPro, uh, was it iron soap? I figured that would help for brake cleaning. freaking calipers are so close to the wheels. I have to get a smaller wheel brush here. I can't get all the way around certain parts of the caliper. Oh crap, I'm gonna have to brush all this later. A broom. So here's that new that's a normal brush that I like using for these wheels. These big ass Brembo calipers, nice and shiny. I really do like this. Um, maybe I will buy a gallon after after I'm out of my Griot's gallon. Uh, I, I really do like how much easier it is to spread, and I, I'm, I've noticed that you know there's the purple coloration from uh, from the iron removers, which is more than than the Griot's. Maybe I'll show you a quick quick uh, quick bit of that or something, but. Um, is it worth the ten dollars more a gallon? That's I don't know, up to you. Um, so I might just try this out. So, so but I do like it. I think it, I think it's a really good wheel cleaner, especially for uh, if you have a more brake dust, you know, car. You know, maybe like a Beamer, Mercedes, this car, whatever, GTR. Uh, I think it works great, and. Uh, so let me show you what else I have. All right, so I have this Adams iron remover. Oh, oh. Ugh. So I have this Adams iron remover that I bought because I wanted to try it out, and it was a $50, you know, gallon of iron remover, which is very, very, well, it's cheap, but very affordable for a dedicated iron remover. I know some people use wheel, the, the wheel cleaners with iron remover in it on their paint. I prefer a dedicated iron remover to prep paint. Uh, that's just my preference. Do whatever you like. And uh, I liked it so much that it came around at a good time because my chemical guy's Glossworks uh, gallon was getting low. Adams had a 15% off plus buy a gallon get a 16 ounce uh, for free. So I thought it was a perfect time to, you know, order a new shampoo and might as well get the, another gallon of iron remover. Even though I'm not, I don't think I'm doing that much prep. But it, it'll last a while, and I thought that was a good pickup. Uh, it just came at a really good time. I'm showing like, as you can see, my gloss works is getting low. So that's just a little quick update of of, uh, of my arsenal right here. This is just these two new right, gallons. So I use the Griot's heavy, heavy duty brake cleaner. As you can see, it comes out so thick, which is great because it just really clings onto the surface. As you see, it takes a lot more effort to cover the surface. So, you have to pick what, what you want out of it. I think they both do a great job of cleaning the wheels. I mean, you could see some coloration on the, on the discs, but once it starts spewing out I don't see as much you know that purpleness I would see with Adam so I mean I, I'm not saying that's better or not because I don't know we both get the job done pretty easy so it depends if you want to spend $50 on a gallon or $60 on a gallon it's up to you I find Adams very comparable to uh, chemical guys decon uh, it's a thinner vis viscosity 
Um, I, I like them both. Uh, the Decon is seventy dollars a gallon, though. So, and, and I know they both always have sales. I'm, j I'm just talking from a retail from a retail point. So, you know, it's it's up to you. How about you? I, I'm just telling you what I like, and I like all three of them. You know, it, should I just go with the cheaper cheaper one uh, that you know it's easier on the wallet? Because as long as it gets it uh, get, gets the things done, and you like it, that's all that matters. But you know, I, I just might aim towards Adams just because I can cover the surface faster and, you know, I don't know. I might change my mind again. Who knows? I'm just uh, enjoying trying these different different bottles. So the next one probably will be the Adams for me once I'm done with the, with the Rios here. Just like how thick this comes out. But then I don't like it because I have to press the spray head a lot more. That's all. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, the bolt will, will work and uh, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.